Hey, what up, guys? So, Monday morning, coming to you. Want to do the what's next on undefeated and newly unified IBF and WBC light heavyweight world champion, Arthur Betterbeev. He came in and main evented the, uh, an ESPN, ESPN card on Friday, October 18th when he got his career best victory, a spectacular 10th round TKO win over previously undefeated Oleksandr Wojcik as he unified the IBF and WBC titles. So big win right there for Better Be if he really skyrocketed up the ratings at 175. I mean, I'm gonna have this guy in the new ratings. He's probably gonna be number one, or well, number two, um, behind uh, Kovalev heading into the Kovalev Canelo fight, but um, he definitely could end the year number one depending on what happens in that fight. So we'll see what goes down, but um, yeah, big time win for him. So the big question now is what's next for undefeated unified light heavyweight champion Arthur Better Be of? Well, Bob Arum that night pretty much came out and said he'd be making a mandatory defense of his IBF title, which both titles would be on the line against undefeated uh, Chinaman Meng Fan Long, I think is the guy's name. Bob Arum said he's trying to do it during the Chinese New Year, which is right around uh, January 25th, 26th. So early January, it'd be a three-month rest period for Better Be If. Um, that's pretty much, uh, you know, the quickest turnaround in fights for him. But now that he's with top rank, he can fight whoever. If Bob Arum's saying he's going to fight this guy and make a mandatory, I believe it because Better Be if needs to make a mandatory anyways. And, um, you know, so I, I, I'm pretty sure he's going to face this guy, like uh, Bob Arum says. But just in case, let's run through the top ten real quick and see if for some reason this fight didn't happen. Let's take a look at some options. All right, so we'll start with number one, WBO champion, Sergey Kovalev. Kovalev's fighting Canelo next. This fight does not happen next. If Kovalev beats Canelo, possibly could fight him next year, but I don't think this fight happens next. But if for some reason, uh, Better Be If doesn't fight Fanlong, then yeah, I could see this fight happening. These guys are both champions. They're both the top rank. And they do not like each other. They, they both talked a lot of shit to each other. All right, uh, Better Be is my number two now. So we'll take a look at number three, uh, Elider Alvarez, former WBO champion. Again, another guy I could see. I could see this happening if Fan Long didn't happen. Uh, Alvarez is with top rank. Um, I think he would take the fight, Better Be of Wood, just to prove that he could probably knock Alvarez out where Kovalev couldn't. You know, so... I think it's possible, but I don't think it happens. I do think Better Be is making the mandatory next. <clears throat> okay. Number four, undefeated WBA champion, Dimitri Bival. Um, This is a fight that Bob Aaron wants to make after the mandatory fight. So if for some reason the mandatory fight fell through, um, I think it's possible. I don't think likely, though. But, uh, yeah, so I don't think this fight happens. Number five, a rematch with Alexander Votsik. Not going to happen next, at least. He beat Votic uh, convincingly, and um, there'd be no need for a rematch as of right now. Um, number six is former champion and current interim champion, Jean Pascal. Pascal looks like he's facing Badu Jack next. Um, if, he, if Pascal wins, he uh, retains the, the interim and, and would be in line for, uh, for him next, but, uh, but that's not going to happen before uh, Better Be if makes a mandatory against... Uh, um, what's his name? Um, uh, Fan Long, the Chinaman. Uh, but I, again, I, I don't think it would happen anyways right now. Um, number seven, Badu Jack. Our, uh, our, no, number seven is uh, the other guy um, that beat Badu Jack earlier this year, Marcus Brown. Um, don't see this fight. It, it, you know, I don't think it'd be an option if, if for some reason that mandatory fell through. Brown is uh, coming off a loss to Pascal, so it wouldn't make any sense for Better Be able to fight him. Um, Number eight, Badu Jack. Uh, Badu Jack looks like he's lined up for a title eliminator against um, John Pascal next. Uh, you know, again, this, uh, it would be Mayweather working with Bob Arum. You're going to have to force this fight um, to happen. And it, the only way to force that to happen is through a mandatory fight. And right now, Jack is in a mandatory. Looks like he's going to be facing Pascal, so we'll see. But, yeah, that's what I think is going to go on. And then... Um, Number nine is undefeated Gilberto Ramirez. Uh, he's actually the WBC's number one ranked contender. So if for some reason, 
the Fan Long fight didn't happen, I could see better be a face in a guy like uh, uh, Gilberto Ramirez because Ramirez is promoted by top rank anyway and looking for a big title fight soon. So, yeah, I could see this one if the Fan Long fight fell through. And then against number 10, Jesse Hart. It is an option. I heard Jesse Hart's going to be taking on somebody else, though, next. Um, actually, uh, Joe Smith Jr. is being rumored in early January for Jesse Hart. But if, um, excuse me, if better be if, if the Fan Long title defense fell through, Jesse Hart is promoted by top rank. And um, I don't think Jesse Hart would be afraid to face better be of next. So it is possible. But likely better be of is going to defend against the Chinaman, uh, Fan Long, very likely. And um, after that, uh, hopefully he gets top 10 uh, work. So we'll see what goes down. But that's it, guys. That's what's next on undefeated IBF WBC Unified Light Heavyweight Champ, Arthur Better Be. All right, true boxing. You've been here with the truth.